Good morning, my faithful viewers. Just want to tell you I love you guys. And I have a quick word. I was um, just kind of getting ready this morning for the day. And um, the Lord just started to show me in the spirit that a lot of you have been um, planting seeds for years and decades. And the Lord showed me that on top of the soil there was uh, it, the, the seeds were dried up and they um, had no life and they were kind of, um, you know when you go into a, a really dried up field and it's all kind of brown and crispy and the Lord showed me those seeds that you've been waiting on have been dried up and you've noticed in your life those seeds of the crops that you had been planting um, for about 10 years. And the Lord showed me in the spirit, there's three viewers that are gonna watch this video and for about a decade, you were planting seed and you did not get the crop. And on top of the soil, even though it looked really you know, kind of like soil that is dark brown, it's healthy soil, but you didn't see the growth. You didn't see the growth of it. And then as the years went by, you noticed the soil became more dry and more um, like there, there was no dampness to the soil. Like, you know, I planted seed in there, I planted a crop in there, but where's it at? And when you're looking at the soil now, it's all dried and hard and it became straw and those um, that crop that you planted, those seeds that you planted, never became a crop. They never grew. And the Lord wants me to tell you that underneath the soil there are seeds that are still alive and they are, there's Gonna, there's growth in there and the Lord said if you will trust him and that you will begin to water that soil again and those seeds again and and not give up and and keep trusting the Lord that you are going to get a huge crop the Lord says there's three viewers and they're going to get a huge crop and the and the Lord says that there's three viewers you know who you are because this this word is going to totally 100% pertain to you and the Lord says, if you will trust him and wait just a little bit longer, in fact, the Lord said, it's just right around the corner, those crops that you've planted 10 years ago, those seeds that you planted, God is going to re-nourish those seeds. He's going to bring life to those seeds, and you're going to see your growth of those seeds seeds and God's going to take the, the, the seeds that spread that they, those seeds spread because there there's you you have the um, the seeds they when they're when they're damp and and God brings life to those seeds there's underneath the dirt is life God says there's life in the soil there's life in the dirt okay just because you can't see it on top of the soil just because you don't see life on top of the soil he said it doesn't mean there's not life underneath the soil all right and so the Lord said there's three viewers and he said in two weeks you're going to begin to see your that crop that those seeds Bring, uh, get life again and the Lord said you're going to begin to see the blessings come that you've been waiting on and the Lord says there's three people that have been waiting 10 years for something really amazing and great and big that they've been working on and waiting on and the Lord said it's coming and to trust him and he has it all worked out in your favor and he said if you would just wait another I feel like the Lord's saying another two weeks you're going to begin to see what you've been waiting for. 
So, Father, I just pray for those three viewers. I pray for the people that are listening to this. And if there's other people out there that are waiting on their 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 crop, they're waiting for their, their seeds to bring life, to bring that... Um, to bring the crop, to bring the blessing. Father God, I pray for those people right now. And Father, I pray they will not give up. I pray they will trust you. I pray they will believe and continue to stand in faith and not give up. Because in due season, they will reap the blessing. They will reap the prize. They will reap the harvest. And the Lord says, many of you have planted a harvest and it will come into fruition. It is going to come forth in Jesus' name. And the Lord says, trust him because it's right around the corner. And he says, there are there is life underneath the soil. There is growth underneath the soil. And the Lord says that you will get your blessing and it is on its way. It's coming in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't know, I'm just I'm getting I'm just gonna step out of faith here, but I'm getting the name Tom. And and the Lord says, Tom, you've endured, you've trusted, you've believed, you have stood the test of time, you have planted, you have put those seeds in the ground, and the Lord says, underneath the soil there's a great big harvest, and the Lord said it's going to bring it's gonna spring life. And the Lord said it's going to spring life and it's going to come forth. And the Lord says do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on your visions. And the Lord says that the blessing that I told you about will come into fruition. It will come forth in Jesus' name. And the Lord says, um, I know this seems like a long time, but I'm, I'm just, I never get this. I never get this. But I'm sensing about four months uh, this thing, this invention, this thing that you invented, this thing that you started, God said it's going to be promoted. In it's God, heaven is going to promote it. Heaven is going to bring it forth on earth. And because what, um, as it on, what's the prayer on earth as it is in heaven? And God said He's going to bring heaven down to earth for you. And this invention, this thing that you thought of that you um, felt like you gave up on, God said he's going to bring life to you and it's going to come into fruition and the Lord said he's going to bring these inventions out and he says many of you have inventions, many of you have ideas and the Lord says there's uh, uh, maybe hundreds or even thousands out there and the Lord said in this season there, he's going to bring those uh, inventions forth and all the ideas he's given you, he's going to bring back to life. And the Lord says, do not give up uh, in due season. Um, do not give up on, your, on um, those inventions, those things that I put inside of you, those ideas. Because in, in, in time and in season, it will come forth in Jesus' name. So, Father, I don't know who Tom is, but there might be many Toms. I don't know, and there's many other people, but I got the name Tom. So, Father, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your miracles, Lord. And I thank you that you are bringing forth your blessings for your people in time and in season. In Jesus' name, amen. And the Lord says um, that just many of you are going to be uh, seeing your blessing in the next two weeks. You're going to the blessings are going to come forth in two weeks in Jesus' name. And God says, don't give up. And God says, do not quit your job yet. The Lord says, your, your, your wealth is coming. And he says, do not quit your job yet. He says, you can, you can uh, receive your blessing and then you can fade out of the situation that you're in. And the Lord says, do not make bad decisions. The Lord says, do not get hasty with your wealth, do not get hasty with your prosperity, and and the Lord says, uh, do not get. The, the Lord says, there's many of you that want to get up and leave your marriages, and He says, do not do that. Do not do that. The Lord said He's going to heal the marriages, and there's like I, I'm just getting four to five. I'm I'm really getting five marriages, and God says, do not get up and leave those marriages in Jesus' name. 
because it will there will be a consequence to that. The Lord says, trust him, he's going to heal your marriage. There's five marriages. The Lord says, he's, trust him and he's going to heal your marriage. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. You guys are awesome. Um, just don't give up. Underneath the soil is life, is life, is life. And God says, you thought your, those seeds died, you thought that crop died, you thought, uh, I'm not going to get my blessing, I'm not going to have the prosperity God promised me. And the Lord says, trust Him, it's coming, it's coming, it's right in front of you, it's right around the corner. And the Lord says, just wait and trust Him, because in due time and due season, you will reap the prize, you will reap the blessing that He has for you. All right, you guys. I love you, and this was a quick word, and uh, maybe my next videos I will be praying and getting more of these prophetic words. I've been really rusty. I haven't done this for a couple years because I went through a bad divorce, and the devil attacked my life and my marriage because um, he didn't like the way God was using me, and, and I had a ministry in my home, so... <clears throat> The devil is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So go forth, my children. The Lord says, go forth, my children. Go forth, my young men, and go forth, my older men, and go forth, uh, the women of God. Those women that have been faithful, those uh, women that have endured great hardship through um, abuse and neglect in their marriages. And the Lord says, go forth. Uh, because you are coming into the land of milk and honey. You are coming into the land of blessing, says the Spirit of the Lord. And many of you are coming into the land of milk and honey. Many of you are coming into the land of blessing. And the Lord says, many of you have been, there's many that are sick among you. And he says, those bodies are going to be healed through technology. The Lord says, there's amazing technology out there. And God is bringing forth that technology and those people with cancer and diseases are going to be instantly healed in Jesus' name through this technology, through uh, healing machines, and, uh, and, and just through many ways that God has for His people. God is so good. Oh, my God. He is amazing. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You guys have a blessed day. And I hope to come back and really go gung-ho in the Spirit and be obedient to the Lord and do what he's telling me to do. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.